I'm Lauren with Pack Hacker, and today we're taking a detailed look at the Dekine Campus 33 liter backpack, which I've been testing for the last two weeks. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so we can keep making content that helps you travel smarter. Let's dive in. The outside of this pack is pretty sleek. It has a nice slim profile to it. And I think this is really great, you know, if you're just need something for like every day, like if you're in college or just kind of back and forth to work. Um, there are a few different things that I kind of want to note on the outside before we, you know, while we kick this off here. First of which is, I mean, right here, you can see that there's a little bit of extra thread. And it's not necessarily loose, but it is a bit of a cosmetic thing. Around the pack itself, there are a few different places, like there's like up here, there's a little bit of loose threading. You can see it's on the zipper pulls a little bit as well. I think it was, yeah, on these ones here, there's a little bit popping off as well. And so it, it remains to kind of reason that over the course of extended use with this pack, you're gonna see a lot of those crop up. This one was here right when we got the pack, but the other ones started showing up over the course of my two weeks of testing. So that's something to keep in mind, um, just in terms of how this is constructed here. There's a little bit of branding right up top on, the, uh, on this little top bit of the pack. It's just sort of sewn on. It's not like overly secure. The threading is looking pretty okay, but it is coming up a little bit on the edges there. So, you know, the more I've been using it, the more it's just getting bumped around a little bit. And then something to note here is up top with this carry handle. There's not a ton of padding in here. There's a little bit, and you do have a decent amount of grip. And what I like about it is that it lays really flush to the pack itself. So it doesn't stick out. You can see it's like hardly even visible when the pack is just sort of standing up like this. But what I did find was that it was a little bit too thick to hang off of hooks. So if I was in like a public restroom or even just here at the office with my desk, this sort of like refused to be hung up. Um, on the plus side, it also refuses to fall over. So you see without me holding onto it at all, it stands up really, really nicely on its own. And I found that to be really, really great. But what I did notice is that if it like, if I wanted to lean it against something, if I didn't want it to stick completely straight up and just kind of like exist in an open space, you know, if I wanted it like closer to my legs or something like that, if I wanted to tip it, you know, just a little bit, it would always start to fall back and stand up straight. So if you like a pack that stands up on its own, great. If not, something to keep in mind. Like the rest of the pack, the back panel is pretty simple too. So there's no mesh padding on the back here. There is a little bit of padding on the inside of it. So you do have a little bit of extra like carry comfort there. Um, but with the straps themselves, they're pretty simple. It's, it seems like almost like memory foam padding in here. And it seems theoretically like it would be very comfortable. But once I put the straps on, I was very like, I had like a visceral reaction to how it felt on my body because it just feels very stiff. So these straps for me are a little bit too wide. They do have some nice curve to them, but they hit really aggressively up on these corners here. And I think a lot of that has to do with this piping. It's pretty thick. And then in addition to that, they're connected at the top. And so instead of being independent and being able to move independently on my back or the wearer's back, this here, this connection would start to sort of hit the back of my neck. And so I had to hang it pretty low in order for it to be comfortable. In addition, we've got a little bit of sternum strap action here. It's on a slide rail, so it is nice and easy to adjust. Just keep in mind, there aren't any strap keepers anywhere on this thing. And so you do have a little bit of flyaway, but in general, it's pretty comfortable and it's pretty simple. So that extra strap didn't really bug me too much. Overall, I really like how sleek the pack actually looks. It has a nice thin shape to it. And so when it's on my body, it doesn't feel like it's protruding, even though it is 33 liters. But like I mentioned with this, these straps here, you can sort of see where it's starting to hit my neck. And this is with it hanging down a little bit. So in order to be like fully comfortable, usually I would want a pack sitting more like up here. But for this one, I really need to let it hang low. And unfortunately what that means is that it starts to hit my lower back and there's a pretty sizable gap between my back and the actual back panel itself. So that was really the biggest impact for carry comfort for me was how low I had to have it sit in order to have uh, the straps not hit the back of my neck there. 
We're going to start off with the water pockets, water bottle pockets here. So we have one on either side. This one here, I just have my phone stashed in here. Uh, that's just a great spot. It kind of acts as like a nice little dump pocket if you want it to be. But I do have a couple of examples of water bottles here. This is a 24 ounce bottle and it fits nice and snug in there. A little bit of extra room to work with. And then we have a 26 as well, but that's a little bit wider. It's a Yeti and that fits in there pretty well as well. There's a lot of, you know, it fits in there pretty deep. So that's nice. Uh, they always felt very secure. The one thing about them though, is that it blocks the zippers. So we have access to a couple of different main, com or we have a, a side compartment and then the main compartment here. And those zipper poles can at, like rest on either side of the pack here, whether it's on this side water bottle pocket or this side here. And it does impact that storage. It's kind of like a security feature too, I guess, but it also keeps you out. I, I digress a little bit there, but um, we have a couple other pockets on the front. We have this little slip pocket here. It's just an open dump pocket. So I usually use this for like my keys and wallet, but anything that you put in here, if it's just a small item and not like a notebook or anything like that, it's just gonna fall right to the bottom. So I sort of had to like sift through my things in there. I usually kept like two to three items in there just so that I didn't have to sort through everything every time. And then in the front, here, right above that, we have a cooler pocket. So this is insulated. It works well enough to keep things cool, but it doesn't keep them cold forever. So if you wanted to like carry a lunch with you or something like that, it is a pretty sizable pocket. So you can put like a Tupperware container in there, but whatever you put in there is going to have to rest sideways. So if you're gonna be carrying like a lot of like soups or if you're like a big like lunch fan of like something that's a little bit more liquid, um, just keep in mind that it is going to have to probably lay so that it could potentially leak. Um, on the plus side, it is pretty slick and easy to clean. Um, I would just probably eat sooner rather than later. I wouldn't necessarily rely on this as like a fridge substitute, but it is nice to have that option to just sort of keep your things cool. And then up top, we have a sunglasses pocket. It's felt lined. It's pretty sizable. And thankfully it doesn't really get in the way of, or the other pockets don't really get in the way of it. So it feels very secure. It sort of hovers above the rest of the compartment. So I never really felt like the sunglasses were in danger, even though there's no padding or anything in there. It's just the fleece lining to prevent any scratches. And then the last secondary compartment here is on the front. And this is a pretty sizable compartment. It actually, I like it a lot because it opens pretty wide and you can sort of like flip this top. This is the sunglasses pocket. You can sort of flip it down and it makes it really easy to get access to it. But the problem is that everything does fall all the way to the bottom of the pack. So I wish there was a little bit of an easier way to keep things organized down here. I just sort of felt like I was avoiding putting anything in this main area just because it didn't really have like a place. And then here we have a couple of different admin pockets, just two little slip pockets here for like headphones or a chapstick or anything like that. But things do fall out pretty easily in these pockets. So keep that in mind. You know, when you just like have your back, have the pack like this, it can very easily fall out because there is a lot of, um, a lot of width in the opening there. And then here we have a back zippered pocket, which as you can see, I just sort of use for all of like my cables and just a, a dump pocket in that sense and a Kindle here. Um, but the thing with this is that when you open up the main compartment, if there's a lot of gear in there, it can start to sag forward. So just be a little bit careful about how you're packing everything in there if you're gonna rely on that for a lot of your tech. All right, so getting into the main compartment. As I mentioned before, we have these zipper pulls here. The main compartment is the only um, zippered pocket on here with zipper pulls. So that kind of makes it like a nice, easy memory jog whenever you're just like grabbing blindly at zippers. You know, if there's no zipper pulls, it's probably this, or it is this front compartment. And if it's not, it is the main compartment. So opening it up, similar to this front one here, we have a nice wide opening to work with. It's not, you know, it's not a clamshell, so you're not gonna have the ultimate easy packing, but it did make it very convenient for being able to just really stick gear down there. And so what I did is I uh, took a trip with this pack and I was able to fly with it. I used it as my personal item. So it's fit right underneath the seat in front of me. And I just had a packing cube in there filled with my clothes for the weekend. And then I had a 3 one pack 
with just the toiletries I needed for the weekend and then an extra layer to keep me warm on the plane. So I kept it very, very simple, but you could see I had a lot of extra space in there to work with. And so you have a decent amount of floor here for easier packing and it does have a little bit of padding as well. So when you set the pack down, whatever's inside is a little bit more padded. And then on this back sleeve, you have a uh, laptop compartment fits up to a 16 inch laptop with room to spare and it does have a false bottom as well. It's padded um, both on the front on this little sleeve itself and the back panel here and then with the bottom and the false bottom laptop felt super secure in there. Um, it was just a little bit annoying to get it around these little the sides of the pack essentially so I did have to fold it back a little bit when I was getting the laptop out, but because there was so much space up top, it was relatively easy to work with. But in general, I thought that this was um, pretty solid in terms of packing space. What I did find is that because this front uh, compartment didn't really have, I didn't really feel like I wanted to utilize that lower space a ton. I almost wish there was just like a singular admin pocket somewhere. And then the rest of that literage was utilized in that main compartment so that I could really take advantage of everything. The plus side is that if you wanted to split everything that you maybe need to like take out for airport security or something like that, you can always put it in one compartment or the other. What I ended up doing was putting everything in this main compartment anyway because I needed to get my laptop out. I ended up just sticking my Kindle in there too and then I had my toiletries container in there just so that when I got up there, I could just take everything out at once. Um, but you could technically, if you wanted to, just split everything out a little bit more, keep all of your flight related items in that front pocket, and then any sort of packing weekend items in the main compartment here. Um, but it does fit a fairly large packing cube, so you do have a decent amount of space to work with. So there you have it, the Dekine Campus 33 liter backpack. Thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel, and we'll see you in the next one.